What's up guys, in this video we'll be talking about speed reading. Okay, I'll be honest with you guys, speed reading is the one skill that you didn't know you needed until you start using it and reap the benefits of it. It is that good of a skill. So by the end of the video, I will give you guys the tips and the tricks to WS reading speed eventually down the line. So let us just get on to it and let us start with the fundamentals. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is about sub vocalization. Sub vocalization is basically this, this voice in your head that keeps on repeating the words as you read. So this is one idea that really surprised me the first time I heard it. So basically what this means is that when we are reading something, when we say out each word, we are limited by our speaking speed. So our reading speed is limited by our speaking speed because we are saying out each and every word. And the idea here is simple. It is just that you don't need to say each and every word in order to understand it. And rather, we can just understand something just by looking at it. So here is an example where the letters are jumbled in each word. And just by looking at the first and the last letter and um, the approximate length of the letter, we can understand what the word is. So here we didn't read out the word, but still we understood it just by just by looking at it so that is vocalization. the idea that we don't have to read each and every word in order to understand it we can just we can just understand something just by looking at it so the first time you do this try to remove sub vocalization what happens is that you know we've been we've been training years and years uh, repeating each word in our in our mind or just saying out loud so it gets hard to remove sub vocalization just like that so a simple thing that you can do is simply to place your tongue on top of your palate. If you place your tongue on top of the palate, it makes it hard for you to repeat the words in your head or out loud. You know? it, it removes sub-vocalization to an extent. And you can focus on just seeing the words and trying to read it. So once we have removed sub-vocalization, the next thing is using a visual pacer. So the idea here is simple. We can increase our reading speed just by using a visual pacer and using that as a guide to read. So normally our eyes have saccading movement, which means our eyes will read something like this, 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 you know, this is, this is how we read, you know, the saccadic motion. By using a visual pacer, we can remove this and we can focus on the finger and that will kind of act as a guide while reading. So this is the, the pursuit moment as opposed to saccadic moment where our eyes uses the visual pacer as a guide and it is, it is much faster because we are using our hand and this is this is much faster so in some vocalization our reading speed was limited by our speaking speed whereas when you don't use a visual pacer our reading speed is limited by our saccadic our eye movement which is the which is the saccadic movement so some examples of visual pacer include our, our finger a pen a pencil any pointed object that basically helps you to guide your eyes while reading that's it. So we talked about sub vocalization and using a visual pacer. Now let's get on to the next thing that is to divide the page into three while reading. So the idea here is that we are using our peripheral vision for reading something. In one sentence, there are approximately 10 words. So when we divide it into three, we have three, 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 you know, three words, three words, three words. Okay. Approximately give or take, we have three words, three words, three words. And in each section, we are reading one main word. So we're gonna read one word from each section and pick the rest of it using our peripheral vision. So we'll read one and just pick the rest, the rest two or three of it. And we'll read one main main word and then we'll pick the rest of it. We'll read one word and we'll pick the rest of it. You know, you get the point. So this is pure practical stuff. Now you do this, you learn this by doing, right? You know, me doing like this, <laughs> it's not gonna cut it. So please do this thing. And, and try it for yourself, then you'll understand the intricacies of, of what I'm trying to tell you guys about. Alrighty, so we talked about three things. First is avoiding sub vocalization. Second is using a visual pacer. And the third one is dividing the page into three and using our peripheral vision to basically pick up the rest of it, the rest of the words. So these are the three things. Now let's talk about the most important question. And that is, what about comprehension? So it is obvious that when your reading speed increases, comprehension decreases, it is it is obvious. So we need to increase or we need to maintain comprehension. So that is important. I mean, what is the point of reading if you don't understand what you are reading? So the question is, how do we increase comprehension? The first point about comprehension is that when we are speed reading, like the fact that we are reading really fast will in itself increase your attention and increase your focus. You know, you cannot, you cannot speed read without giving you 100%. So speed reading inherently kind of increases your comprehension, if that makes sense, because you're giving your 100% focus and your 100% 
attention. So that is kind of like a bonus with speed reading. So the next thing that you can do while speed reading is to be aware of, of the whole situation. Like to ask yourself some questions like, like why am I reading this? You know, what am I reading? Right? What is the purpose of reading this? So while you are having these questions while you are reading, it kind of increases your focus. So while reading you are curious and you are in the moment and after reading just one section, you can ask yourself the same questions like what did I just read? Like what was the plot? What was what was this one thing trying to convey? So it is basically like one session of active recall right after reading. So that is also one way to increase comprehension while speed reading. So lastly, I want to talk about why speed read in the first place. What is the point of speed reading if I just want to enjoy reading? If I just want to you know, be in the moment? Uh, so the thing is speed reading is just a skill. It is one skill that you have and that you can develop and you can use it when and if needed, right? You can use it if you want to. So that is like basically the whole idea with speed reading. And the next thing is that when you employ speed reading, when you practice speed reading, this baseline that you have right now, it'll kind of increase, right? It'll go from 200 to 250. So the more you practice, the better you get. So that is one another benefit of speed reading. So to summarize the whole thing, firstly, remove some vocalization. Secondly, use a visual pacer. Thirdly, use your visual and peripheral field to, to pick up the words as you read. And finally, to increase comprehension, try to be aware, you know, be in the moment, give you a hundred percentage, and also ask yourself questions right after you read so that it kind of adds this element of, of active recall into it and that will improve your comprehension deploy these um, tactics like right away you can use this right away you can use a visual pacer you can remove some vocalization you can do these things right away and you can see um, the drastic change in your reading speed so firstly read as you normally would and count the number of lines and after that use these techniques you know use a visual pacer try to remove some vocalization and read again and then count the number of lines and if things went right i'll, I'll tell you that there will be an increase of at least 25 to 50 percentage in your reading speed. I am pretty sure about that. That is all I have got for you guys in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Peace.